We got up into our routine, a nice bucket shower, a beautiful breakfast. Food was outstanding. It's as good as you get anywhere in a five-star restaurant out here in the middle of nowhere. And I could tell it was going to be a good day because we started seeing a lot of elephants. An elephant's senses, its hearing, its smell is just outrageous. Is what they can, what they can hear and smell, is is on a different level to anything anything that that a human can possibly think. And if you put their sight, if you could give them the sight that a white-tailed deer has, we'd be walking around here a lot more carefully than we do right now. We're probably not more than two hours into the hunt. We're driving down the road, going through the low brush. <clears throat> OT taps on the window, and they spotted, he and Shadow spotted, three bulls uh, off in the distance. Steve, that's a big bull. Very big bull. See him on the right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's two, there's two smaller ones. That's a, that's a very big bull. Come on, let's go. Grab the guns. Let's get out of here. 6'8", 6'8", 6'2". And I got a call from Jeff saying that they had a couple of bulls that they were going to go and have a look at. Hey, Rich, we've seen a big bull here. Two other smaller bulls. Um, so just just ease up here, and uh, and you can join us. Uh, just come up slowly. Jeff turned around and, you know, gave us a pretty good stern hand to quiet it down, slow it down. Don't step on anything. Don't make any noises. I mean, you know, I mean, the serious level uh, just went up to 1,000. Looks like a good bull. I'm just going to try and get a look at the side. You guys hang on here. Brad and myself and Rich were huddled up underneath a kind of a brush to kind of block our view. Jeff went off to the side to really view this elephant and start studying the weight. When we got about 100 yards from that bull, the, you could, the adrenaline had kicked in. That bullet turned to face us and you could see his mass. And you could see Jeff was very adamant that, that we were going to take this bull. Jeff turned around to Steve and said to Steve, see Steve's adrenaline peak up. You could probably hear his heartbeat about a mile away. Try and get him behind this tree and then probably move to the left. At this distance he can see us, so don't move too much. He's in a better position. He stepped out and, you know, tried that frontal brain shot. And that's when all hell broke loose. Take him, take him. Right between the eyes. A little, little bit low. A little bit low between, okay, between the eyes. Too low, too low. Shoot again. Okay, come up. Come, whoa, stop. Come up on him. I hit that bull. I see his leg raised up and the son of a gun turned on a dime. You know, the, the best made plans can go south on you in a heartbeat. As I was running with Jeff, Jeff said, load your gun, I'm loading on the run. Uh, he said, now what we're gonna do, if we get close, the elephant was slow enough. He says, that bull's gonna turn, he's gonna be mad, make that shot. Jeff slows things down, he's trying to get everybody organized, the bull's starting to slide off. We kind of button hook around and come on the other side. And what Jeff's trying to do is get this side brain shot on the bull. Managed to get around to the side where the bull picked his head up and was at a bit of an angle. Ran as hard as I could, fast as I could, got up there, the elephant stopped, turned, I put it on and I said, this time, I'm not making another mistake. You're right, you're right, you're right. Steve took a perfect side brain shot, which absolutely smacked that bull off his feet. Yeah, just watch him. The elephant. Well done. Thank you, thank Great you. Elephant. When he's down and you get up on him and he's growing, that's a good feeling. Very big bull. Holy cow. Look Let's just give him one more. Okay. Come around here. Got up there, I went around, put the insurance shot into him, and there before me, no ground shrink, laid the bull of my dreams. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes! There you go. What we came over here to do at that moment, we, we had completed it. Oh, boy. Oh, thanks, buddy. Woo! This truly was the pinnacle of my hunting career. What a bull. What a bull. All right. God, that elephant went up. You know, he's, I mean, he's completely airborne and down. And um, I'm going, wow, it's, it's happened. You know, everybody was was overjoyed. I mean, that, that was, it was a tremendous bull. We finally had him down on the ground. You got up on it, put your hands on those tusks. It, everybody knew it was a big bull. And I can speak 10,000 words a day. And I'm, I'm absolutely in awe and speechless right now. The villagers get all the meat, so we'll get in here with the tractor trailer, load him up. Okay. Nothing here is going to go to waste. I, I know you guys are taking all the skin, you know, ivory, obviously, and then, uh, and then all the meat goes to the villagers. So not nothing gets wasted. It's been 44 years of dreaming of really doing this on a big bull. Uh, and I'm very, I feel very humbled that, that I was actually blessed enough to do this. Anybody that really wants a big bull needs to think about booking and coming to Botswana. It's, uh, it's not going to be here forever, and, and that's, I think, on the cards. Elephant hunting should continue in Botswana just on a basis that it's, uh, it's a good income for the country, it creates jobs, and it's part of conservation. We're, 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 we're game managers. We're managing this, the population, and if we don't hunt them, they're just going to eat themselves out of a home. And uh, you're gonna, the government's eventually going to have to do something drastic to control those numbers, whereas hunting's a nice, easy way to control it. And it's just something that should continue. This is the pinnacle of my hunting career. And most of you know I've hunted around the world and I have some tremendous trophies. Nobody ever comes to Africa once, you know. They come out and they, they, it's, it's such a great experience. So here's Steve, you know, with a... The best trophy of his life. With the exception of my birth and my children, this is, without a doubt, probably the greatest day of my life right now.